What is up, everybody? I am Christine Williamson, and I'm here with former Auburn defensive end Marlon Davidson. What is up? Yes. Loads up, and the ball's out. Marlon Davidson came in and stripped Hicks. What have you been doing? How have you been keeping yourself busy? And how have you still been trying to prepare for your, the next level? I mean, um, well, while I'm in the house, I'm watching a lot of old movies. I can say that I'm going back to like Triple Egg, the first one. You know, you know, I've been doing like a lot of like training on my own. You know, we yeah. can't really like be with all uh, trainers right now. You know, all the gyms mm -hmm. are closed. Everything's are like yeah. isolated, different type of things like that. So, you know, I'm gonna go to like Shakespeare Park and just like run hills, do different things like that. Um, mm -hmm. Really go out to my backyard and go to like um, my old high school and just run around, do things like that. Um, with the weight room thing, we kind of went into like dumbbells and stuff out of our weight room and try to like do different things with that. They try to keep our muscles active majority of the time. So it's, it's been paying off for us. I mean, and a lot of like prison yard push-ups. <laughs> so okay, so, so keeping it like actual old school, like back in the day, what they used to have day. to do. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so have to do that now, but you know it's working. What is something about yourself that you cannot find on Google? A non Googleable. Um, I mean, I'm a gentleman. I can say that. I am okay. pretty gentle. You know, um, a lot of people get off on the stereotype. You know, they're big, they're hard, they're this, they're not soft. They just masculine all the time. But I do have a side where I'm just like calm and chill and collect, you know, and just relaxed. I'm more of a relaxed person outside of a football game. Cause, you know, I try to take the aggressiveness from it to uh -huh. my everyday life and try to be more smoother. You know, okay. not so hard. Normal. Teddy bear like maybe, just like Normal. cuddly, sweet, kind. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I did tell you about this game that we're about to play. I love games. I love making up games. We're going to play a game called Sack or Back. I'm going to give you the names of two NFL quarterbacks. You're okay. going to have to tell me who you would like to sack and who you would like to back. Like that's, you know, I could ride with this person. All right. We got right. five rounds. 10 total names. Okay. You ready? Uh-huh. Okay. First round. We got the vets. Tom Brady or Drew Brees? You got to sack Tom Brady. And I'm you got to sack Drew Tom Brady. Brady. Why is that? Yeah. He's the best. Everybody stereotype him as the GOAT, so you want to go against the GOAT. Uh, we've got next Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes. I got to sack Pat, and I'm going to be with Lamar. Back him because okay. I ain't gonna get I ain't gonna get myself embarrassed out there on the field. <laughs> He's a different dude. <laughs> <laughs> so you think you think you would get embarrassed by Lamar? <laughs> That's a different next man, level. Though. He's next yeah, level. Sure. We haven't seen anything like that before. For okay. Sure. <laughs> uh, next up, Russell Wilson or Deshaun Watson? Hmm. That's tough. Um, I'm gonna go. Back Russell Wilson sack Deshaun Watson. He beat me okay. in college. I got to get him oh, back. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Wait, he when did he? Oh, yeah, that is true. My freshman year. That is very My true. My freshman year, yeah. Got to get so him back. I got to get him gotta... back. Next up, Ryan Tannehill, Aaron Rodgers. Sack Ryan, uh, Ryan Tannehill, um, Aaron Rodgers. I'm going to let him be. I'm going to back him. Why is yeah. that? He playing with my boy. My boy, my trade was out. I don't want to do it. I said, I want to be with my boy. But That's Ryan true. Tannehill, I got to get him. He just got the bread, too. <laughs> That's true. I got gotta to get humble people I gotta, sometimes. Yeah. You got to humble people. <laughs> yeah, got to bring them back down to life. <laughs> exactly. Uh, last round, Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray. Oh, one second, Baker. Oh, Why is that? Kyler. He talks too much? Oh, Baker. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I played in my freshman year in the Sugar Bowl, and he was one of oh, those. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he is. That he yeah. like has not changed at all. He's still yeah. one of those. The same person. So I guess <laughs> for sure. Okay. That sounds good. Okay, so you kind of blew up a little bit during the combine for during the combine for something you said. So <laughs> I wanted to just ask you the question myself. I'm not even gonna ask you about your answer. You can answer it the same way or you can answer it differently. But <laughs> what do you love about the game of football? I mean, the physical aspect of the game, you know, being uh -huh. able to hit somebody and not to get called the police on. So that's the joy in football. People don't understand, like, the aggression 
is that why you started playing football and started falling in love with the game? Like when you were younger, is that the part that you really liked about it? Yeah, we used to we used to tackle each other without pads on when I was growing up. So I got tough through that way. <laughs> My brother got to put a lot of whippings on me. I can, I can feel like that. <laughs> tough, but still soft. Tough, but soft. Fact. Football, regular yes, life. Uh, so yes, your first team, you were first team all SEC in 2019. You led your team in sacks with seven and a half, and you had 12 and a half tackles for loss. But you, so you had a pretty productive season, but you could have declared for the, for the draft last year your, after your junior season. Why did you decide to, cut, to go back for your final year? I mean, why not go back to Auburn for another year? Auburn is the best mm -hmm. school, easily, hands down. And I mean, for sure, to get my degree, uh, yeah. something that my mother wanted, you know, um, you know, that was a tribute to her. And um, everything I pretty much did my senior years for my family and mm -hmm. um, just coming back, being able to show dominance, showing people that I am first round caliber and showing people that it's not a wasted pick at all. You're going to get somebody yeah. who's productive. You're going to get somebody who, who loves the game and who knows the game. You know, a lot of people in the league now, they're, they're just in the league for the benefits. They're not in the league for the game. You know what I mean? And I'm there for the game. So, What did you feel like? Because obviously you had a very productive senior season, and then now you're getting ready for the next level. When you go from high school to college to the NFL, those are all different levels. There's different things that you need to get prepared for. What have you worked on since your last collegiate game that you've had to do and make sure that you focus on as you prepare for the next level? I mean, just preparing my, my mind for – the different activities outside of the game, put it like that. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, all the outside distractions with women, uh, family, um, just everyday life through there. I mean, football is easy. You know what I mean? You play yeah. football all your life. Don't let football complicate itself just because you move to a different league with older people. Don't let it complicate itself. It's still a football game. Yeah. So you go out there and you play against. They might be better than the guys that you played against, but that just means that you just raise your level of, you know, not being a rookie, but trying to be at least a superstar or a vet. You know what I mean? Like, it's different levels on the game that you can say, per se, on. So that's why I was just yeah. pitching that. Just trying to keep my mind focused on the yeah. goal at hand. And that's being able to, you know, try to produce for that organization and trying to, you know, be one of those guys. You know, like, not one of those guys, be the guy of the defensive line. Mm -hmm. So I saw a quote <clears throat> that said, uh, talking about you, obviously, that you made the, the right decision by bulking up to over 300 pounds to sell yourself to NFL teams as an interior defensive lineman. But mm -hmm. I also heard you talk about your home being on the edge and you've actually lost weight since the combine. Are you comfortable making that switch or do you want to remain as an end? Yeah, I mean, I'm comfortable doing whatever, you know, but I mean, yeah. um, nobody wants to go inside and, and have to hit two men all the time. I mean, yeah. I don't think inside guys want that. So, mm -hmm. but I mean, if that's something that I have to do, then I'm more than likely willing to do it. You know, like I love football. Like long as I'm on the field playing, I don't yeah. care about nothing. Sure, you can throw me back at that cornerback. You know what I'm saying? Give me a couple of drops <laughs> and turn my hips. No, yeah. I think I can do. Yeah, I think I can do pretty good at that too. <laughs> you said but you were I mean, quick, so I mean, I could yeah, see I it. Got of, I got a little bit of little juice. In me. I do. Just put me in deep thirds and be back, or I can't press nobody. Now. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Yeah. So uh, I mean, that's just me. When an NFL team drafts you, what will they get in a player? They get a football player, and they get a they get a leader. They get a a competitive guy. You know, I'm all about competitive excellence making sure I'm the best at whatever I do, not taking too many reps, like losing, put it like that. I don't mm -hmm. like to lose at all. So if I feel like I'm losing, you know, I'll turn that thing up some more and I'm trying my best to fight and claw and try to scratch or something. I'm trying to do mm -hmm. damage somewhere because that's, that's who I am. But yeah. I mean, competitive excellence, toughness, um, you know, a guy who you would not hear his name in the streets at all. Um, police scanners, none of that. Like I was never raised that way. So I'm not a bad kid. And, I mean, I'm pretty sure you check the records now. Everything's perfect. You know, I'm just – I mean, they won't know me, put it like that. They just know I play for the team, and I show up every Sundays and Mondays and Thursdays. Every time that I get a new job, because I've moved around a couple of times, I yeah. always, like, treat myself, you know, like, good job, like a pat on the back. When you get your contract, is there anything like, I need this or I need to get this to treat myself? 
um, the only thing I'm gonna do to treat myself is to help my family. You know, like my in household family, my brothers. I mean, um, I feel like I got it all. You know, I feel like whatever I need, I can get it whenever because like, it's my money. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I'm a smart yeah. guy. Um, I don't need a lot. You know, I used to wear the same clothes in school, so I'm not this overly flashy guy. You know, so don't change your lifestyle yeah. just because you see the other guys in the league doing this and doing that. You know, pocket that money, put that money in the bank, save it up, get some land, and just live off of it for the rest of your life. You know, let your generational children, you know, have something better, you know, than what you have. Yeah. You know, that's what I think about. And I mean, just more, more so, I feel like if I grew up with these type of guys in my household, you know what I mean, and they don't have it, and I got it, then I fail. You know, so if I have it, they have it too. So I'm not going to yeah. go buku crazy for them, but I'm going to know that, yeah. I'm going to let them know, like, this is what I'm doing. Like, you can still help yourself too because you are grown too. I love it. You're a gentleman. <laughs> You're wise. It's great. It's great. I'm very excited yeah. to watch you. Great to meet you. Um, yeah. Excited to see where you go in this next step in your career. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.